I don't think there's much I need to do. We still have that. Virgo full moon, the worm full moon is about winter ending, spring beginning, things ending, things becoming anew, things completely ending, done, over, things are going to be cut out and new things will begin for everyone pretty much moving divorces losing jobs changing religion beliefs the old is going to die a new is going to be born new cycle for everything. I see here the card I have, I don't know why three cards are up, but I'm going to be using my intuition a lot here. Two of Cups is a Twin Flame card. We got the Queen of Pentacles. That is whatever energy the Queen could be male, female. Gender does not exist in Tarot or spiritual world. Queen of Pentacles is Pentacles is your money. I have Scorpio Virgo, which is funny <laughs> that this card comes up because it gives confirmation of what I'm saying right now. Virgo full moon, the worm moon, which was the peak of it was yesterday morning, March 7th. <clears throat> they can go out for a few more days yet. <clears throat> and Scorpio is what card? And tarot, death and rebirth. Oh wow! I did a I did a picture yesterday. <laughs> I, I didn't even do this picture, and no, re, not there's. I wasn't even a thought in my mind about the well. I was, there was that was a thought in my mind, but this wasn't the reason. But I drew a picture. You know, a butterfly. And at the bottom it says, reborn. <laughs> That's interesting. I really didn't have words to say about the Virgo. I haven't really looked into much of the Virgo full moon. Just a couple minutes. But it's about cleaning house. Um, spring cleaning can start early. Um, Virgos are known to be very OCD. Things have to be a certain way. Uh, their mind is constantly going. So, a lot of thinking. You have to ground yourself at this time. Because they were suddenly going on with a twin flame. I hear with the Virgo full moon that if you do have a twin flame, if you're one of the people that are still with a twin flame and this doesn't end, <laughs> you're one of a few on earth this is happening for. So, you know, 
Is there going to be a reunion with a twin flame? Is there not going to be a reunion? Is there is it going to end? Is it over? I don't know. Um, I have the alien cards here also. I have the mantis being, who, which is upright. Uh, I don't know why all these cards are upright. So I really don't do that. Enigma, elusive, and sensitive. The mantis being. Enigma, elusive, and sensitive. I am going to just split this because this is my intuition. This is how it is. But I'm going to split it two times. We have the Ten of Cups right here. Ten of Cups is Pisces. Place, um, ten of Cups is happy life, happy wife, happy family, happy home, happy, happy, happy dog, happy white picketed fence. I'm going to pick it up again because it's kind of, it's split right there. Seven of Wands. Wands is your action. That is Leo. Leo is strength. Competition, overcoming challenge, defensive advantage, self-confidence, and strength. Where are my glasses? Let me just read it. A person or situation is stirring up a dynamic energy. An advantage over ad adversaries. Being challenged or opposed by others, but having the necessary experience and abilities to emerge victorious. Stand, this is interesting. Standing up for oneself and one's beliefs. Choosing battles wisely. Ability to beat the odds. Success despite criticism, criticism or opposition. my intuition again <laughs> I haven't done it like this in a while but I feel I need to we have number five the hair font this is the card actually says voodoo warlock Taurus you need baby to seek to receive messages from higher source. I'm gonna keep going with my intuition. Taurus, did I say Taurus? Underneath the Taurus card, we have Six of Cups. Oh, we got Jenny. Ginny with a G, Ginny, G-E-N-N-Y, Ginny or Ginny, Ginny or Ginny, Ginny, green teeth or Ginny, green teeth, <laughs> green is earth, I believe, Oop. that is Scorpio. Six of Cups is going back to childhood to your past, reminiscing about something. Leave it in the past, something you got to revisit. Possibly something to end from a past so you can reborn. Maybe you need to get higher messages from higher source. 
in order to receive your Ten of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles is a is a wealthy individual, but let me let's let's see what it says in this book. Just curious. I really don't feel like going over the spiel of what I do, how I do things, what's going on. If you're new, I apologize, but just subscribe. Maybe I'll say it a little bit later. I say it in my other one, so you can watch the beginning of my other one. Queen of P Pentacles, tranquility, security, generosity, abundance, satisfaction. Peace and tranquility, relaxing into and enjoying a well-rounded abundance. Satisfaction with fruits of one's efforts or labor. A model of success due to thoughtful planning and follow-through. Someone who is accomplished, practical, and consistent. Demonstrating the qualities of generosity, thoughtfulness, dignity, and or self-sufficiency. Someone who helps others and has a mindset that there is plenty to go around. Huh. I don't want to toot my horn or anything, but it kind of, not the abundant part, but it kind of sounds like me. It's not the abundant part. I am fully abundant. I don't even know why I said that. I'm 100% Abundance does not mean financial. Abundant is just being abundant in life with everything. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have here the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is. <laughs> the lion, the fierce lion. We got Leo again. Chimera. What is a Chimera? That is action again. That is, I believe, a battle. Let's see what it says in this one. Because it could be different. This one's more basic. Five of Wands. Competition. Disagreement. Teamwork. Diligence struggle to coordinate that kind of goes with the very first one that I which one was that I'm not sure which one it was I feel like I just said that which one was the other ones oh the seven of wands so the seven of wands was beating the battle this one's like there's conflict within this battle. Feeling odds with others. Pay attention to detail. Don't give up. Discomfort caused by chaos leads to growth. The need to regroup or get on the right page. Right timing. Feeling at odds with others, particularly in a work or collaborative situation. Com comp competing desires or opinions. So... There's going to be possibly a little bit of a battle. I mean, if you're, if it's time, if it's the, if the moon is, and then we have, um, we have Saturn in, in the sign of Pisces and Saturn is, Saturn is going to have us go within ourselves. Saturn was here in 2019, 2020 in the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius is a worldly humanitarian sign. Okay? Worldly humanitarian. That's what I was looking for the other day when I was um, talking. I couldn't think of it. I, I kept forgetting things. So, a worldly humanitarian sign. So, what happened when Saturn went into Aquarius? COVID. 
Saturn brought COVID. I said the the the, the moon, the universe, the Gaia, everyone. They're the ones that's bringing that brought COVID. It was for us to learn a lesson, to grow from this lesson. So that's Saturn. And Saturn's going into Pisces, which is more of a inner conflict with oneself. It's a uno, you know, not the collective. It's just within yourself. And Saturn's doing that with us individually like just like a covid learning thing if anybody learned now that kind of hard test learning is going to be all within ourselves and it's going to get whatever you have to release truths coming and i said all this months and months and months ago this is all going to happen it's it's pretty much here now i mean it's here um, it's going to bring uh, uh, um, Neptune, which is Pisces planet. Neptune is bringing truth up to the table. Pluto is here for us to see the truth. Say correctly, but I am saying it correctly. Maybe I'm just a little wrong. I, I don't think I am. And then, um, n- not wrong with how I'm saying it, just with the planets. Um, and then you have Mercury that is direct, and that's bringing with the Virgo mind a lot of communications. There's going to be a lot of endings, a lot of endings. But with all this, it's going to be a lot of beginnings. So it doesn't mean that you're going to be divorcing your significant other. It means if there's been conflict or something going on, it's going to end. Something's going to end strongly and it's going to be very powerful. And it could be a brand new beginning for the two of you. Or you will end it and then that's going to be a brand new beginning for you. Possibly new home, new job, new relationship, you know. But things that were going on in the past, it's going to end and a new beginning is going to happen. So this could be, things are ending, could be something that's been going on your entire life. Hence, going back to childhood in the one card. Back to childhood. You have to go back that far to end it. So, in the next few months, it's going to be extremely, extremely emotional. A lot of emotions. A lot of thinking. A lot of clearing out the clutter. Your home, your mind, your relationships, your work whatever you get very OCD with trying to organize things in your space and it's a good it's actually a very good one on one healing that we're all gonna do and the last reading I did do was with the beautiful Isis, which pink is still in the background. Pink is healing. The um, last reading I did, I says on YouTube, Isis segment and Nefertiti, and that's a healing ritual at the end. And I highly suggest to watch it because. very powerful (laughs) I am connecting with somebody right now 
I feel the I feel the different frequency here.
So something strange has been going on the past few weeks, I think. This, or maybe the, we, maybe since this weekend I've been noticing it. That um, it's like a light um, going off in the sky. The, the other night when it was snowing, it happened. I believe it was snowing. Was it snow? I think it was snowing. It happened. It looked, it looked like lightning, but there was no thunder or anything. That came, and then today during the day, it happened. And the way and the way it flickered, like doesn't flicker like on and off like a like a light switch like a light switch. You know, very ooh, bizarre. But beautiful. <laughs> bizarre but beautiful. I have no idea who I'm connecting with, I'm not sure. Nefertiti's here with us, and then number 13 keeps coming up.
13th dynasty. For almost 30 years from its unification around 3100 BC to its con to its conquest by Alexander the Great. In 332 BC, ancient Egypt was the preeminent civilization in the Mediterranean wor um, world. this out. Sorry. <laughs> Let's do some Egyptian cards, see what happens here. Let's start off some numbers. Oh, Jesus. Let's start off some numbers, see what happens there. Four, five, six, one. <laughs> they love to do this um, number in a row and then the ones at the end. <laughs> five, five. Eight, eleven. Eight, ten, is equals three, ten, and two, and one, third, ten, thirteen, and say ten and five is fifteen, Six, 
sorry, six nine eight two. Six and two is eight. It can be eight eight nine four 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 nine.
there's it could be MMM right in a row or WWW in a row. Um, it's just weird. I'm gonna say how I see it. I see MMM or WWW, and then my the eyes went right over here, which was uh, E. There's a B E B. J O B job. something it's um when you the the plants bring off a pollen like a pollen um fucking they wait fecundation um fuck <laughs> fecundation fuck fecundation fuck that's funny and it's like pollen or something is that funny There was 
no insects to fun funcundate flowering plants. Fucking date. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ace of Swords is um, probably exactly what this is. Something dying. Something was... A struggle. So something could have died. There was a then... And then fertilizing something new. Isn't that interesting? King and Queen of Wands. So now we have the King of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Interesting. Fertility. A good relationship with a mature man. Inheritance. Help is received. Something's going to fertile. Something's gonna die. Just let it gradually. Just let it die. It will. It will come to an end. Don't stop it. Don't force it to happen quicker. Number thirteen can really mean something for you. We have the Four of Swords and the Knight of Swords. <clears throat> the Revenge of Horos. Vigilance, restlessness, retreat, solitude. So you could be going into that hermit mode to retreat from something that's been... The Knight of Swords is... A messenger of ruin. Courage. Rage. Violence. Mercenary. See how it got dark in the background? So these cards are exactly the other cards. Something, a uh, battle. You know, healing. So it's going to what's going to happen if we do the steps that's supposed to be taken. Unless there's something else you need to show us.
Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knave of Swords. That's a message, I believe. Hold on, let me see if the nine of the Ace of Pentacles is in this. Pentacles is your money, honey. Let's first read the Knave of Swords. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The Scribe of Mott. A lawyer. Spy. Message and code. Hostile intentions. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. The glory of Ra. Ra, 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 Ra. A ton. Winning. Success. Gloria. 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 <laughs> Pentacles, 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 Pentacles. In the middle of it, you have your swords. That's the nine of swords. That's almost ending this battlefield. The hair font <laughs> is Mess uh, messages from a higher source. Six of Pentacles is charity, equal give and take. Something's gonna, somebody's going to gift you something that you deserve to make it an equal balance of something. You got the fool, which I'm going to read from this book. You got the fool. Where is the book? I don't know. No. You got the fool. You got the star card. Star. And then you got strength. You got the six of pentacles, the give and take. So what's the fool? Let's read the fool out of this book. This is a good book. So it seems like there could be a different couple different stories in this, I feel. I mean, it could be a, a lover story. It could be a financial story. It can be spontaneity, innocence. The fool is ready to fly. His young wings ache for flight. And with a single step, he leaves behind the comfort of the nest to begin the journey through the major arcana. Is he ready? So there's a birth that's ready to... So a, a rebirth. This is a rebirth. Will he fall? This is a card about beginnings. It points to the side of that is spontaneous, excited, naive, and inexperienced. Others may doubt your abilities, but be ready to be called the fool. Be ready to be called the fool. Be ready to fall. No matter what people say about you, this is your journey, and it's already begun. So you, some, you got, we're, you're birding into something brand new, and new. You're becoming that brand new little baby bird, and you're gonna fly to something brand new. And people might criticize you and put you down, but. You're going to become the star. You're going to become the superstar. You're going to become famous of, in your world. Strength. You're going to get the strength. There's going to be an equal give and take. With the Hierophant. <laughs> Taurus. Um, messages from above. So, this is exactly pretty much what I said, huh? I 
think that's it. I think we're done. It's repeating itself. It's pretty much repeating itself, so. Ace of Cups of Abundant. Ten of Pentacles, Abundance. If it had the Four of Cups with the rat on top, it was about to go, but it fucking flipped on over and landed back down and not to see it. So that could be a sign. I kept seeing the two of swords. I think I've seen it a couple times. Just... There could be a stalemate. The two of swords depicts two opposing forces that have reached a stalemate. You cannot progress forward with either a relationship or a life decision. There's an answer that's being blocked, made by, maybe by choice. Many times this card will indicate you do not wish to face the truth. The light will reveal. The light. <laughs> Didn't I say that at the beginning? Neptune and Pluto, they're going to bring everything up on the table so things are revealed. And Saturn is going to make us go within ourselves to see, to do the inner work for ourselves. The light's going to shine on all of us. But it's going to be hallelujah. If you do the work, it'll be hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. And if you want to know how to do the work, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're curious and don't want to go, wah, 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 message me. I can help you. <laughs>